Hello Magical Box Lovers and welcome to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 45 years old and I live here in... Looks like it's going to rain again, Derbyshire. Hey! It's April, but it's raining all the time. We're not having the showers, just the rain. Never mind. Right, if you just watched my previous video... I can't say it, video. Um, you'll have seen this little guy. So yeah, I've decided to pop him there. Look at him. I absolutely fell in love with it. So yeah. New home now, love it, Mr Lantern. Thank you so much Jess, I absolutely adore him. Right, so today we have got another box from the Half Witch and she owns a company called The Witch's Heart where she sells lots of magical goodies to suit all your magical needs. And she does boxes. So her boxes don't run every month like my other boxes do. Her boxes are like every other month. So this is uh, April's box, but it is for Beltine theme, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, so it'll be next time you can get a box will be June. Yes, June. Um, so this is the second time that I've got a box from her and <laughs> I was literally every hour kept checking her website with it's not on yet, it's not on yet, because I circled my diary, because she does have a limited supply of boxes, so I was so like, well, it's not on yet, it's not on yet, then I had to go to work, and I'm like, it's not on yet, and then it was like, oh my god, it's off, but bye, got it, and then that like, yes, I've got it, I've got it, I could have relaxed then, because I absolutely adored my last one and um, you can see my green man he's there and uh, if you remember i've got the little powders um i've got was it lemon balm uh lemon is it lemon can't, orange it was orange orange and can't remember now offhand but one of them was orange anyway uh absolutely beautiful the little powders um so i went on to her site and i've actually bought some more and I've got a rose petal powder. Oh my goodness. Because I work a lot with rose petals and I like to put them on candles. But it's a nightmare. As you know, when you're dressing your candles, they tend to come off and then you've got to mess about with like loading them with, put them on with and seal them with wax if you wanted to, you know, do them in advance or make them stick even better. Do them, pop them on and then, you know, with wax, just drizzle wax on and then that will coat it let it seal over the top, you can do that and then the stick in, but then the, the flammable. But you put your powder on with some oil, perfect, less flammable, in fact there was nothing really, payload of smell, it was absolutely amazing and what I did, I've got a lot of, you know, you can get like your tin candles that are like flat, tin round ones, just put I like to pop a little bit of oil, if you're dependent on what you're doing, either circle it one way or circle it the other, I like to do that, and then pop some of the powder on the top and mix it in, perfect for that, and it coats like an ordinary, like, you know, your plain pillar candle, coats just the top of that, because it's, if it's in a tin, you can't really get to it, so when the candle melts, it just goes straight in, or you can just like bore holes in, but sometimes I can't be bothered to do that. So if it's like a, a big base one, I'll just do that. And I quite like that because I'm doing that, you know, the circle movement and putting the intent. I'm not just doing a circle movement, I'm intent, you know, I'm magically doing it. And it's perfect. And there was also the rosemary oil. <gasps> Love the rosemary oil. That on my candles. The smell is beautiful. Uh, my tip for you guys, whenever you're working with oils, before you use it, put sellotape around the label. And then when, normally, you know when you're working with oils, your hands get a bit gummy and there's drips go down and then your label wears off and then you can't see what the label says. So always put some sellotape around it so then you've created a seal so that it'll just go straight over the top. That's what I do, and it keeps all your labels on, you know, like essential oils or anything like that. Um, it just keeps your labels on so you can see what they are, because when I first started out in the craft, I got a lot of oils, I was using them all the time, and then the labels wore off. And it's just because your hands get a bit gummy, um, you know, and 
you can also eat my pumpkin. So there we go. Right, back to what we're coming for because I've had Bertie today, like in my last video. I do apologise if I go off on tangent. I am very talkative today. But that's what you want really when I'm doing a video, isn't it? Be talkative rather good. Yeah, these are books, I'll be. <laughs> you don't want that, do you? You don't want that. So I am super excited for this box. So as normal, I have open the box and I am so glad I did because I was worried about this box. Now this is not Half Witch's fault. I want to put that out there straight away. This is out of Half Witch's control but my box was damaged so I was quite worried. Okay so this is the box as you can see very discreet but I've got a big dint there big hole that you can actually put your finger in and it goes all the way through to the other side so I'm concerned because you can see I've got my thumb in it that something has actually pierced the box and gone through that is what I think and that is what my suspicion is but it is not the hearth witch's fault so I don't want you thinking it's anything wrong with their packaging or anything like that it is not because that is out of her control uh, she has done everything that she can the packaging was the box was literally crammed full you know the little noodle doodles that you could pop in the sink and you know they just melt down to nothing it was crammed full of those okay I got a carrier bag full out of this box so that I can show you the contents so if she hadn't have packaged the box so well this box would have been damaged the, the contents of the box would have been damaged so it's thanks to her packaging that the contents have been saved there's just one item that is wrapped up that I haven't checked so I don't know if it's damaged yet so fingers crossed and toes crossed that isn't by the feel of it it doesn't feel damaged so I'm just getting that out there now so yeah I don't want you thinking oh it's, it's her fault that it's damaged it's not her fault it is somebody else's fault not lame blame but you know what I mean nudge nudge wink wink it's not it's half which at all okay okay so here we go so very discreet nothing on there that is just my address stamp plain discreet that's her address it just said return to the witch's yeah return to the witch's heart so it is discreet but it does say the witch's heart okay and that's on the bottom there okay okay so yeah this box it was full of you know the white noodle doodles so I have obviously seen a lot of the items because they are not individually wrapped as you can see that is ripped um, so it has been obvious to me what a lot of these items are and they'll be to you when I get them out okay but yeah it was completely full of the noodle doodles this is the item that I have not unwrapped and I am hoping that it's okay but by the weight of it, I kind of know what it is. So I'm 99.9% .9 certain it's going to be okay by thinking I know what it is. <laughs> so we've got a candle. I'm just going to get things out quickly and then go in detail when I put the box down. So I'm worried about jars and things like that. But yeah, she has a, a wonderful store. Check out her store. She's got amazing items and really, really good prices as well. I mean, the, the powders, I think, were the three pounds, four pounds, something like that. And you get a lot. I mean, that, you, you know what I mean? Really, really good quality as well. Um, I think that's it. So, yeah, the box is empty. As you can see, it went all the way through. Don't know what did it, but thank you, Half Witch, for wrapping, but you know, for doing this so well. Okay, okay. Right. So she has done this for a candle safety. Brilliant. Not many people do that. It should be obvious, but so yeah, candle safety. Please follow general candle safety. Do not leave burning candles unattended. Keep away from pets and children. Burn away from flammable items and fabrics. Ensure candle is secure before burning. So yeah, be careful when you load candles, like I've mentioned, because when you load candles up with uh, any 
anything with it being an oil or organic material it is going to ignite differently you know even if you've gone oh well last time it didn't candles change all the time even the same candle if you've lit say you've got a devotional candle you've lit it on day one then you light it on day two that candle will do something differently on day two to what it did day one it's not until you work with candles that you know how they change. Never, ever, ever, ever leave a candle unattended. No, no magic is worth your house burning down and risk to your lives and others. OK, always work it into your magic. If you need to extinguish that flame, work some words in to make it so that you can extinguish that flame. Yeah, something along the words that are saying that, you know, as I extinguish the flame, my my spell releases to the universe. Something along that lines. So that the act of actually extinguishing the candle finishes the, um, the ritual or spell and releases it off. Yeah? So just because a spell says, oh, you must let it burn down. No. Finish it off in... Think something up. Think, you know, how you want to release it in a certain way or act in a certain way and use the actual act of extinguishing and and another one is there's a lot of things about you know don't blow a candle out again that's also fire safety because if you blow a candle out you can blow wax all over the place i've done that myself i've blown wax all over the place by blowing a candle out and a lot of it is because you're mixing two elements together you're mixing air with fire um, so it can alter things a little bit and plus sometimes it can be like you're blowing your attentions away but sometimes I have blown a candle out because I wanted to get rid of something so I've muttered words and I've gone as I blow this candle out I blow this away yeah make words for your actions to make things safe like this don't just because something says oh you've got to let your candle burn down you haven't got to wait 10 hours for that great big candle to burn down you know yeah you with me great so this is the contents list i'm not going to look at that and uh, this is again a contents list but it's an in-depth list of what we've got uh, so it doesn't look like we've got a ritual or anything uh, last month we did have a ritual so I'm quite surprised we haven't got a ritual uh, I thought we would have would have I thought we would have got a ritual with it being like a sabbat I thought we would have got a ritual I did oh we had the Gaia candle that's it I did do the ritual that came uh, with last month oh, that was beautiful that was beautiful and because of that candle needing to burn down, what I did, I did the spell in a different room. I did it in my front room rather than in my altar. Because don't forget, you just because you've got an altar, you don't have to do all your workings in an altar. You can do it anywhere. Okay. <laughs> so I brought it downstairs, did it on my hearth, uh, which is marble. Did my spell there because I was downstairs. So I was watching the candle and I could watch it burn because that was one I did want to burn all the way down and watch and, you know, so I was like reading my book and just watching it and, you know, it was just beautiful and I was with my dogs and it, it just really beautiful to keep watching it and I was reading the magical book anyway and spot on. So yeah, don't forget you can move your magic around the house. It's not, you don't just have to perform at an altar. Uh, so yeah, so I was a little bit surprised with this that we haven't got a ritual that that would have been nice um but i have got in my next video i have got a wonky i've got a wonky box um and i do like their ritual so i would probably be doing their ritual anyway um i do really really like their rituals um it did I, there was just the ostara one i didn't do last yeah I, yeah I didn't do the star one purely because I was at work so I, what I did was because I simply wasn't I wasn't able to I wasn't feeling too good I wasn't in the right frame, frame of mind but I wanted to do something um so what I like to do is you know when it's, it's about I like to do a simple spell jar 
all the ingredients, all the things to me that mark that change of season. And then I've got a little shelf and I put them on the shelf so they gradually get, the shelf gets full each year. And then I put them away in the box and I mark them up. You know how I am. I mark them up. That's the spell gels for that year, for that sabbat. And then I've got the shelf empty again and start off again. I just like, it's a visual representation for me of the changing of the seasons. And I like to do that. So I've done my Ostara one. So that is currently still on my altar. Uh, when I've unboxed my old, uh, wonky box and this box, I will be doing my Beltine box. Beltine box, Beltine altar, so I've got that to do as of yet. Uh, but I wanted my boxes to come because I knew I was going to be getting some goodies for Beltine. So, right, so let's get to the goodies because enough of this jibber jabber, let's get to it. Right, so this. Ooh, loose incense. Um, again, she has these on her site. Lots of, lots of goodies on her site. Uh, I just I just bought the um, oh, well, all the ones that she got uh, the powders like I say absolutely amazing her powders I did see the loose incense oh my goodness how cute is this it's a little tiny note in it <laughs> I thought it actually was just that size <laughs> I'm one of these people I like little miniature things Oh it's, it, oh, it's not as cute now, it's for older now. <laughs> I did try and make um, a, a miniature like witch's cabinet, you know, out of the old lollipop sticks doing all that. But with my hands, I was doing it and it was hurting my hands too much. For, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it. But yeah, that's what you do. Uh, so that's brilliant. So it's our own brand. Uh, tells you how to use it. Brilliant. I love that because not many people do that. Oh, and it's got resin and it's got herbs in there. Look at that. That is beautiful. I love. Oh, I love. Uh, anyone who wants a really, really good, strong incense. If you are having problems with anything spiritual in your house and you're wanting to clear and cleanse your home really, 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 really well, and you're wanting a really good incense for that, then what I suggest you do, uh, and it's again, it's a loose incense with the charcoal one, uh, one of the best incenses, incenses, incenses I have and smells gorgeous, is one from actually the Witchcraft Museum in Boscastle. So if you just type in Witchcraft Museum, Boscastle, it will come up. They have a shop and they sell loose incense, I think it's something like a fiver, and that is what they use for their shop. So, well, shop, well, museum. So they cleanse that every single day and all of their artifacts to keep it all the vibes just right, just nice, so that people can then go and visit, okay? So this is really, really good stuff, and it's sort of got like secret ingredients and things like that, and it smells really sweet. Um, so if you, you're somebody who likes incense that's like, like a, a really sweet, sweet shop smell, it's like that. And it's one of the best incenses that I've ever used. And it completely, you know, you know sometimes when it's really heavy and you just need something to cut through and other things, smoke cleansing just has not done it. That stuff, straight away, it is so yeah, I highly recommend it, highly recommend it. So yeah, Witchcraft, Witchcraft Museum in Boscastle and it's their shop, an amazing shop as well. I, I bought this from it when I last went to Boscastle. Uh, I'm hoping to go again this year um, because it's absolutely a fantastic place to go. I love it. Uh, but yeah, check out their online shop. They've got lots of stuff and you, you can also um, ask them to look at artifacts online and research so if you're doing like publications and things like that they really help you with lots and lots of stuff it's not just a museum they really do help you with research and things like that it's an incredible place if ever you get a chance to go please go the feeling oh, love it absolutely love it but yeah incense i just just thought i'd mention that because that is one of my favorite incenses to work with 
but this I'm super excited to try this I do like it when it's got resin and uh, leaves with it I do like that mix and it smells spicy it smells spicy of course Beltine fire spice yes that is beautiful and we've got a lot and don't forget you can use these little pots for other things as well yeah or make your own yeah make your own loose incense and we've got <laughs> so that's the charcoal dish dishes for it hang on i'm hooked i'm hooked up there we go <laughs> these are my uh, baba yaga earrings she'd just hooked me up onto my necklace <laughs> so yeah you do your charcoal disc what i do you've got your little tongs hold your charcoal disc i use a candle flame rather than going click 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 with a lighter hold it over a candle you get an even burn then that's how i do it and it's like oh i didn't think of that before it's one of those moments <laughs> yay i love in the color of the bag it's like um what colour would you call that? I don't know, it's like it's like a greeny greeny mustard, isn't it? Unusual colour. I don't have a bag that colour anyway. Yeah, it's not gold. Yeah, it's like greeny mustard. Can it, George is barking. What about that? I'm trying to think what uh, I'm trying to think what that is. It's either red jasper or <laughs> or woof <laughs> Cornelian Well I've just noticed my uh, stone's falling out of my ring Let me take that off I'll find that and put that on later Let's have a look, Let's have a look. What are you? Carnelian. So it's a powerful stone associated with many aspects of the Sabbat season. This unisex bracelet can be worn to attract change, inspiration and courage. And it's associated with fire and solar aspects of life. Ideal for bell time. Um, I do actually, because um, how my altar is, I have, you know, the mark of fire. At, at south. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word then. At South. I don't mark it with a candle because I'm, as you know, I'm so accident prone. Uh, so I've got like stones that mark it and I've got like a river stone with a flame on it. And I've got each of those for each of the elements. So like for water, I've got like water and for air, I've got like air and, uh, and so on. You, you get the drift. So for the other elements, I've got like an actual bowl of water and for earth, I've got bowl of salt and for air, I've got incense. But for fire, I have fire related crystals. So I have red jasper, I have carnelian, and I've also got, you know, the um, from uh, Witch Casket. Uh, a while ago, they did little pins. So I've got the little pin badge of the emblem of the element. I've got those all around. Uh, I've got the latest talismans that are available. I've got the talismans and also the little uh, crystals that they did with the emblems on as well. So I don't actually have a physical uh, one there just because I'm going to burn myself. <laughs> so work your altar just because uh, you've read a book and it says, oh, you have to have a candle in the south position. You don't have to work it to suit you yeah it's that's the thing and beauty with magic you do it to suit you i know i would burn myself i would set the house afire if i had a candle there just how my altar is and how i work i would set it set myself afire so i don't have a candle there for safety's sake <laughs> and i don't want to have an artificial one i do work with artificial candles i've mentioned that in my previous video the pumpkin hollow one i do use artificial candles to light up the area but as in my actual altar itself i don't put artificial ones i put the artificial ones like on the floor and around the edges 
so it illuminates the area but as in working the actual magic and on the actual altar piece itself is only working real flames i will hold uh, a fake candle in my hand and hold uh, the ritual what i'm you know to, got to read so i can see the words uh, do it that way but yeah work work your magic to suit you just because it's written one way in a book do it to suit your needs that's the beauty of magic okay love that love that put you on there no i haven't got a carnelian one I have, no i haven't i think i might have i've got a chakra i think i've got it from on the chakra one yes i'm Yes, I have. I've got it on the chakra one, you know, because it has all the different coloured stones. I think it's on that one. I'm just going to pop my ring in there to remind me to try and find... Can you hear George? My husband's um, just popped to a garden centre. So we're going to get some more lavenders. Not that we haven't got enough with um, <clears throat> about the ten lavenders I've already got. But um, he's just popped out to get some more lavenders. So that's why George is barking. And we've got a beautiful goddess candle. Now this will be going on my Beltine altar. Again, you can buy these from her shop. And this is glass. I was lucky. So we have got Green Man Ritual Spray. So these are perfect. You know, if you like um, traveling and you wanted to just do a little bit of devotional work, but you can't light candles because they've got smoke detectors and things like that. And you can just go Ch -ch -ch. spray like that. You've got your cleansing, you've got your incense spray. Gets you in, oh, love that. I like that. It gets you in the mood, yeah? Sometimes I will just say my prayers at the bedtime. My I call it saying my prayers, it's not really prayers, it's like a devotional and sometimes I won't say them at the altar so I haven't got my candles lit, I haven't got, you know, I haven't got all the tranquilments that I use it's just literally me and my prayer beads and it's not these, it's my other ones, the amethyst ones because these are always on the altar and sometimes I'm just too tired but I will, I always want to and I have to, it's just, it's me, I want to and need to I can't sleep if I don't, I don't do it um, so I'll, I'll say it before bed uh, and sometimes like I say I'm, I'm sat there and I'll, I'll spray it it's my way just to you know just set the so these are perfect and don't forget you can use them for your cars as well cleansing your cars keep cars are like another attachment of your home keep your cars cleanse good juju good vibes yeah and smells great so this smells absolutely gorgeous i don't know what's in it but i love it and i like to use them as well you know just a general pillow spray <laughs> to be honest to be honest i've got the, a lot of them at the side of my bed and i'll use them for a pillow spray and even my husband enjoys them um i had got to a special you know like linen spray he didn't like it but these type of sprays he does uh, but yeah they're marvelous marvelous i absolutely love them but yeah, you you can buy these separately and it is the Green Man one. But yeah, lucky, you know, with the box being damaged. And um, we got some cards. I nearly bought these. I nearly bought these. I'm so glad I didn't. Um, oh wait, <gasps> doing it towards me. The little voice just said, Helen, what are you doing there? Thank you, whoever that was. <laughs> I don't know who that was, but I just did. Helen, stop it. <laughs> Here we go. I've seen these quite a lot, and I'm like, oh, I love them because I love owls. As you can see, I love owls. I know in some beliefs, owls have like a negative meaning, um, but with me, obviously. Uh, with like following Hecate and Greek mythologies quite a lot it's the positive side of things uh, I always wanted Bubo oh, I loved him I always wanted I always wanted a Bubo 
See, I, I grew up watching Clash of the Titans, you know, the original ones, and Pegasus, and oh, I loved it with Gorgons, with Medusa, and I just, I, you know, I love it. And then when they re redid them and the newer ones, I'm like, oh, Pegasus, I love Pegasus. And I'm like, oh my god, it's Bubbo, it's up to the Bubbo. Oh, and you could just see him, and like, oh. Huge fan, huge fan. Love anything like that. And yeah, and Jason and Argonauts with mid ear as well. Of course, for me, when she's playing Tecate, I like. And those dancing skeletons, well, they're not dancing, but they are really, aren't they? Those skeletons, oh, I love it. Love it. So, what's it called? Crystal Ball Pocket Oracle. So, I'm so excited to get this because I keep seeing it and I've been wanting to get it. I've been so good lately, I haven't been buying any uh, decks because I've, I, I got that many decks and I I wasn't using them. So I've gradually got down them and I've, I've actually sold quite a few of them because I've got them because I liked the look of them. And then when I tried working with them, don't click. So I've sold them or given them away. Um, so I've really, really condensed my collection to the ones that I just use. And the ones that I am really getting a good connection with. Um, I've also I subscribe to the Total Tarot magazine, so I've got a really good collection through there. Because every month you get a, a, a new new card, a new deck of cards. Um, so yes, I've been really good for the last couple of months not getting a deck. And here we got this one. I do love working with oracles as well. I have got, um, you know, the um, Antique Anatomy Tarot deck. I have got on pre-order her Oracle deck. Uh, I am, when I do get that, I think it's in May, when I do get that, I will do a video. You know, I've done some videos in the past of decks. Uh, I will do a video of that deck, so I'm so looking forward to getting that one. So looking forward to it. But it's been on pre-order for a few months, so yeah, I'm sure it's May, it's coming. So here we go. So this is the back. So these are ones that you go, um, am I going to have a good day today? So then, then you shuffle. Perhaps I shouldn't have said that. So you know I said I do my 13 cards, 13 shuffle. I'll do that. So what I normally do, this is what I call general shuffle. So general shuffle is when I'm just shuffling. I've got a, you know, I've got my idea in my mind. So my idea in my mind is... Am I going to have a good day today? So I'm going, am I going to have a good day today? Am I going to have a good day today? Repeat, 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 repeat. Okay. And then I do what is called my 13 shuffle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. And then I will choose the 13th card. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's now that's the last one. Now, if I'd run out of cards, I would have gone start at the top. So then thirteen, fourteen. You with me? So that's how I do it. Okay. So that one, let go. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Well, that's how I do it. Um, 13 is my number that I work with an awful lot. Yours might be seven, whatever. Work what does for you. Um, that's just my tip. Um, it's how I do it. Everyone does it differently. I was struggling. I really was when I was first starting out. This it really, really comes in handy if you've got like a normal sized tarot deck. So, you know, they have normal deck or more cards. Um, because, you know, you can be like, which one do I choose? Do I, you know? It helps more with a large deck because this, I mean, sometimes I will just do a spread and go, I'll have that card, you know, so I'll just go like that. Um, but yeah, and also when you're shuffling, you know, if you can't, because I have problems with my hands, rather than shuffling like that, don't forget, you can shuffle like that, so you're not grabbing. Yeah, so you haven't got to open your hand up as wide. Yeah, only opening it up like that. Cause sometimes my hand physically won't hold cards, so I have to go. I know there are a lot of superstitions surrounding tarot, yeah? 
go into tarot with an open mind and open heart and you'll be absolutely fine and all this oh it's got to be gifted to you this that and other no just just buy a deck just buy a deck because you've got to get a deck that you know will suit you like i've mentioned i bought lots of decks that i've gone oh that's absolutely gorgeous then i've tried working with it it just it, i just can't get it to work no matter how much i've tried and um, it's absolutely a stunning deck it just will not work um so yeah and i always advise someone to get the traditional rider white smith one that is my absolute favourite deck out of all the fancy decks I've got and I've got some expensive ones. That is the best deck I've ever got. Just a cheap one with that. Yeah. And that is the one that is spot on every single time, that one. So I'll quickly just show you the cards. So I have seen these for sale on like Amazon, eBay and things like that. I think they did used to be originally just on Etsy at one bit. They, they have done the rounds for some time, so I'm really pleased to get them. Because it's just right up my street, this. Yes. Oh, sorry, wrong way around. That's that's one that I pulled, let go. I love that. So yeah, I love that. Super excited to work with that one, so thank you so much for that. And I don't think they're expensive to be honest. There we go. So, Crystal Ball Pocket Oracle. Now, this is heavy, and I'm hoping it's not damaged with it, you know, with it being um, wrapped up. I haven't checked it. Everything else has been fine. There we go. We're okay, guys. Can you tell what it is yet? Yeah, we're okay. So it's cast iron. Cauldron. It's actually nicer than mine, this one. Where have I got? I've got about three cauldrons. I've got one with the... Um, that one with the pentacle on. One with the triple moon on. Yeah, this will be my third one now. No, four. <laughs> We're playing one. So this will be four. I love that. You can never have enough cauldrons. Because I've just got one for Baba Yaga with lots of like devotional items in there. Some like little bones and things. And like me broomstick. You know, like miniature broomstick. I've got that sticking up in it. I love that. Cast iron. I'll go standard. Perfect for candle spells. Don't forget you can do that, you know, uh, I pop if you pop salt in there. Don't f and you can even just, if you haven't got an incense stick, pop salt in there. Pop an incense stick in there. When your incense burns down, you can use that for your black salt. Uh, again, charcoal. I think that's what's actually giving it is for. You can do your charcoal dish on that. I've got um, a similar one. Uh, for it's a bit bigger and it did have like a wire mesh on it but I don't use a wire mesh and that is what I use for my charcoal dishes uh, incense uh, but yeah if you put salt in rather than sand then you can use that then for your um, black salt rather than having to scoop you know the incense out you can just pour it and not worry about having to get the sand out or cross contamination just pour it straight out you've got your salt there you've got the uh, incense ash uh, you've got it all set there but yeah lovely little cauldron i love cauldrons there we go right so thank you so much half witch for another amazing box so yeah a lot of items i mean they're not cheap the cauldrons themselves 
and it's a nice, I don't, don't know if you can see yeah, it's hangy uppy one. So I think I've done all right there. I've got, got a new bracelet. So we've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. Seven items. So I'm really happy and I'm super excited to get another one from her. So yes, I will definitely mark that day down on my diary. I will. Uh, I think it's usually about the 18th of the month that hers are ready. Um, so April, so it'll not be one in May, so it'll be June, June 18th. So yes, super excited. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please like and subscribe because you really, 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 really do mean the entire world to me. Uh, if you want to talk about anything magical or if you have any questions or anything, I'm more than happy to help. If you're stuck with anything magical, I've got a lot of, a lot of books. If I can't help you, I can always point you in that the direction of someone who can uh, yeah just pop it in the comment section below or email me my email address if you check on the about me section at the back of the YouTube thing you can find me email address I'm more than happy for you to email me I love he hearing from you guys because you all really really do mean the world to me so thank you so much for your continued support and I love you all so thank you so much and I'll see you next time thanks for watching please stay safe bye